Hi, this is Jaden. So the topic we're going to discuss today is infant nutrition. A good nutrition during the first two years is a very vital for the healthy growth and development. Starting a good nutrition uh, practice early can help the children to develop a very healthy dietary eating pattern. So usually the baby birth weight will be around double to triple in the first year. So in order to grow that much, they actually they need a lot of nutrients more than any other time in their life. So for the newborn baby, usually the full term infant is around uh, 37 to 42 weeks. And during this one whole year, they need to grow double to triple of their body weight. So the average of the Malaysian newborn baby is around 3.2 kg. Means that after a year, they need to grow up to around 10 kg. So, in order to uh, get your baby to grow as much as double to triple, you really need to feed your baby with a very good nutrition and a very uh, right amount of the calorie and nutrient. And in terms of the nutrient, protein is actually very essential. No single nutrient is more essential than the protein. And the protein for the baby need is actually double the amount of the adult per their body weight. Because their metabolic fat, the infant is the highest one, so they really need a lot of nutrient. So usually in the first few weeks of the life, breastfeeding usually is on demand basis. Means that you only feed your baby when your baby is very hungry. And the newborn baby usually will need to breastfeed around 8 to 12 times per day. And breast milk is very easily to digest, so the newborn baby are always get hungry. So you have to feed your baby every one and a half to three, uh, to three hours every time. So why you need to feed your baby so constant? Another reason is because when your baby is newborn, usually for the first day to three days, their stomach side is around a walnut side. So if let's say you constantly feed your baby, uh, the stomach is actually can go very quickly each day. So in terms of the uh, feeding, you don't need to think so much of the what is the food I need to give to my baby or something like that. For the first six months, you only just give them either breast milk or just infant formula. So, better you can give the breast milk. If let's say the mother cannot really produce enough breast milk or if they have some problem to produce the breast milk, they can choose for the uh, infant formula. But the breastfeeding, the breast milk is actually the first choice because the breastfeeding is not only benefit the baby, it's also benefit the mom as well. So whatever the nutrient you think of, you already can fall on the breast milk. So you feed your baby with the breast milk also can help them to reduce the risk of the chronic illnesses it's the natural antibiotic to help them to fight against all those diseases and the breast milk is usually the very least allergenic. Besides from the benefit from the infant, for the mom, if let's say you're continually, constantly feeding your baby with the breast milk, you also can reduce the risk of developing the ovary and also the breast cancer. It also can help you to reduce the osteoporosis uh, and also can help you to um, speed up the recovery after you deliver. And one more thing everybody will love one is can help you to burn a lot of calories. So means that you can faster to get back your healthy weight after you deliver if let's say you just uh, keep breastfeeding. If let's say you really uh, cannot produce enough of the breast milk, then it's another choice you choose for infant formula. But you don't buy the cow milk from a convenience store. Okay, uh, the difference between the breast milk, infant formula and also the cow milk is Okay, breast milk and the infant formula is almost the same uh, because their protein is actually lesser and easily digested and their carbohydrate also easily digested in breast milk and infant formula and the fat amount also higher but don't buy the cow milk because the fat amount from the cow milk is very little and the infants uh, they actually really need a lot of fat for the eyes and brain development and the protein from the cow milk is very high even though I tell you that uh, infants should take a lot of protein, but you cannot take too much as well. Taking too much actually will make a uh, stress for their liver because their liver is not fully developed. Even though I know that some of the infant formula is made from the cow milk today, but that one is okay. Because the infant formula, uh, they already fortified to make them as close as the breast milk. So this infant formula is suitable for your baby to take and it contains all the nutrients that the baby is needed. Just now I mentioned some of the mom maybe they cannot produce enough of the breast milk. So here is actually some of the tips can help the moms to produce the breast milk more. 
If let's say you want to increase the breast milk supply, you can take this kind of the herbs like fennel, fenugreek seed, papaya seed, nuts, oat milk, and also can take garlic. Okay, so these all the things can help you to increase the breast milk supply. If mother are enemy, make sure you really need to take the multivitamin and also you have to take a lot of oat milk with the iron as well. Because if let's say you are enemy, automatically you cannot produce enough breast milk and drink more water as well. Some of the common problems that your children might be facing is actually iron deficiency. When your children come to sex month onward, they will experience the iron deficiency anemic. Okay, because the nutrient from the breast milk and the infant formula is already no longer enough to supply the baby needs, you need to introduce the solid food to the baby. So, what is the solid food when you introduce the baby? Usually, when we want to introduce the solid food to the baby, the first thing we worry about is allergy. Okay, because we do not know what is the thing your baby is allergic to. Usually, about six to eight percent of the children below four years old will develop the allergic symptom. So when you want to introduce the solid food to the baby, usually you will start with the single ingredient. When you start to fit on the single ingredient, you have to wait around 3 to 5 days. Because some of the allergic reaction is not developed immediately. It, it will delay a little bit. So after you introduce, you have to wait around 5 days. Then only you need, and then only you introduce another food to the baby with a little small amount. So usually rice cereal is the first thing we introduce to the baby because rice cereal is the least allergenic food. Seldom people will get allergic from the rice cereal. And the allergic reaction usually is like you will develop the skin ratios, like the digestive discomfort, and we like the uh, breathing difficulty. This is actually the re uh, allergic uh, reaction. And you also need to understand allergy and intolerance is different. Intolerance will not uh, cause you having the skin rashes or the uh, breathing difficulty. It only will make you like the stomach bloated or diarrhea. So if let's say you only have a little bit and some intolerance, you try to slowly feed your baby, then after that it actually can tolerate with that things. If let's say it's very serious uh, intolerance of that particular food, then better you just eliminate from the uh, your food list. So here is actually some of the tips can help you to make the healthy baby food. When you want to make the healthy baby food, usually it's very simple. It's just only two steps. First step is cook the food. Second step is mash the food. Alright? And one more thing you have to be uh, very in mind that baby test part usually they are more preferred for the sweet stuff and the uh, salty, salty thing. Sweet and salty thing. They don't like the bitter and sour thing. So if let's say you want to just keep feeding them the vegetable, of course they will tell their mom I don't like the vegetables. If let's say you want to ask them to uh, to, to eat the veggie, you can mix two things together. For example, this is some of the combination of the easy uh, homemade baby food. You can get the avocado. Avocado is a little bit bitter one. If let's say they don't like, you can add banana inside because banana is a sweet one. For example, if let's say you want to feed your baby with the broccoli, uh, broccoli puree, you take the broccoli, then you together with the carrot because carrot is the sweet one. So this is actually the combination you can give to the baby. When you make the baby puree food, try to make it in different color. Because when you make it in the different color, they, they will sound like they will look interesting. So this is another thing that can trigger them to eat very healthy. All the healthy eating you need to start practice since a uh, children. And don't always like uh, like give a treat or give a treat to your baby with the sweet or candy or ice cream. Because when they eat this kind of sweet stuff, they will like very hyperactive. So when they get hyperactive, then who is the one who is going to travel? Is you is going to travel. If let's say they always eat this kind of sweet stuff, they will automatically they will don't like to eat all the veggie and all the bitter thing. So overall, the summary is during zero to fourth month, don't need to think so much. Just breastfeeding and infant formula. Four to six months, you can start to introduce a little bit of the solid food. Then six to eight months, you can just uh, begin with some of the texture of the vegetable. Eight to ten months, you can add a little bit of the fine cut meat. Then ten to twelve months or up to one year old, slowly increase the portion of the food to the baby.